We are already three episodes in the Universal Survival arc as the exhibition matches are entertaining us before the real deal starts. The Tournament of Power will have all 12 universes fighting for the sake of their existence, but in this video, we will highlight the most prominent one that we know of till now, Universe 11. In Dragon Ball Super Episode 79, Universe 11 gets a moment of attention as one of Basil's attack gets deflected towards their stage, only to be easily stopped by the Black Hooded Mystery Warrior whose identity is now known. The speciality about him is he is in line to become a god of destruction, and he is also the leader of the Pride Troopers, a peace protectors team of U11, members of which wear this red and black uniform. The fact that he is the only non-godly character standing in there along with gods, Kaioshins, and angels proves that he is not only special in his universe but even among all universes. He is going to be a key player in the tournament, and we are assuming he might become a rival of Vegeta. As Goku on the other hand got this white faced jackal looking warrior as his rival, at least it looks like it from the opening, as we see him going toe to toe with Super Saiyan Blue Goku, so here's another big player from U11. We believe this guy could potentially be stronger than even Tapo. Female Broly or Girl Broly was the most talked about character after the first trailer was released. We don't know which universe she is from, but from this shot it looks like she is with U11 fighters. She has a lot of resemblance with Kabe, so she could also be from Universe 6. We can't confirm that 100%, but if this shot is of U11 fighters only, then I'm afraid we are seeing another big powerhouse from U11. Broly is a big deal in terms of popularity, so bad they are expecting this character to become popular, for that I believe she will be reasonably powerful. That's not all, we have another fighter who also raised a lot of curiosity and looks like he is from the same race as that of Beerus and Champa. He is also a member of the Pride Troopers team, since two of his race made it to the God of Destruction role, we can assume that race is naturally powerful much like Frieza's race. So, another fighter to watch out for, Universe 11 filled with exciting characters. Then we get a slight look at this fighter. He looks humanoid but could also be a cyborg, android, or something along that line. I am genuinely interested to find out more about him. To top all this off, they also have the most attention grabbing, the most talked about god of destruction, Vermont. Assumptions about this god is getting wilder with crazy fan theories by the days. Many fans think Beerus and Champa originates from U11 but couldn't become a god there because Vormod overpowered them. I personally also like the angel of U11 due to her resemblance with Harley. The, Kyo the Kyoshin has been described to be someone who values life, so you can expect Vormod to be a crazy one who destroys shit for weird reasons or maybe just for fun. So the video title is The Most Powerful Universe? Question mark. Well, we can't say that yet because there are plenty of other universes yet to be unveiled. However, apart from our U7, we know of U6, 9, 10 and 11. U9 from what we have seen till now looks awful. We don't know much about U10 except for the Zamasu Gawasu thing. Universe 6 is a really cool one, but from among the fighters we have seen in the last tournament, only Hitman Hit stands out as a top tier fighter and you would think they would have the best in the last tournament. So we think from the universes that we know of till episode 79, universe 11 does look like the strongest keeping you 7 out of equation. So what's your thought on all this? Who do you think is the strongest from universe 11? Let us know down below.